Hello, it's Carol here, and welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. We're so glad you joined us today, and we'll be continuing with our warrior poses. We'll start in a seated position. We'll stand up and do a couple of poses standing, and then we'll come back to a seated position. And as always, remember, if you're standing up and you're feeling uncomfortable, just have a seat. It's fine. You can do them from a seated position. Later on this afternoon, we'll be uploading this video uh, to YouTube. So go to our channel, Bottoms Down Chair Yoga. And if you would, please give us a subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. It would help us out. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to move up forward in our chair so we're not leaning back. Think about lifting your heart nice and tall, long spine. We're going to ground our feet first. So think about those four pressure points behind the big toe, the little toe, and the two points of the heel. Make sure you have all four of those points nice and equally weighted on the floor. The next thing we're going to do is ground our sits bones. So we have those pointy bones that we sit on, have both of them equally weighted on the chair. We're going to lift our heart up. We're going to lower our shoulders down out of our ears. Feel that stretching through the spine. Pull that belly button to the spine. And let's place our hands lightly on our thighs, palms facing up if you like that. And you can do that thumb to middle finger mudra if you like, <clears throat> your choice. Close your eyes. Turn your attention towards your heart center and just breathe. Just paying attention, noticing your natural breath as you inhale and exhale. We're going to continue with that elongated breath, inhaling a little more deeply, exhaling a little more completely. We're going to next engage our diaphragm as we move into that belly breath. So as you inhale, extend the belly as you fill the lungs from the bottom up. As you exhale, pull that belly button to the spine and push the air up and out of the lungs. So do that a few times. And breathe normally. We're going to add a little rhythm to that breath. So we're going to inhale to four counts and exhale to five counts, something like this. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And breathe normally. We'll do that one more time. This time you'll inhale to four counts and then I want you to exhale to just as many counts as you can before you inhale again. Go ahead at your own pace. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice. One more breath. Bring your hands back down to your thighs and open your eyes. Drop that right ear down towards that right shoulder. Just a little neck stretch as we begin this morning. Drop your chin towards your chest. Left ear towards left shoulder. Go ahead and drop that chin towards the chest again. And look up. Nice. Look over your right shoulder. Look center. 
Look over your left shoulder. And center. Excellent job. Let's roll those shoulders up, back, and down. All right, and reverse that circle. Nice. All right, very good. We're going to take that right hand up towards the ceiling. Left hand is going to go on the chair as we extend that spine long. Hand way up to the ceiling. This hand is on the chair for support. We're going to lean into it, feeling the sideways stretching. We're going to come up and we're going to do that on the other side. We're going to lengthen up first. Opposite hand is on the chair for support. Up we go and then lean into it. Feel the stretch in that sideways. Keep that hip down. Up we go and roll those shoulders again. All right. A nice shoulder roll. Reverse it. All right. We're going to do just a couple of cat and cows. So place your hands lightly on your thighs. Pull your belly button to your spine. Round your shoulders. Tuck the chin. Let that head fall. Then we're going to lift up into our cow pose. Grab the back of the chair and lift. The chest is lifted. We're feeling a good stretch through the shoulders, upper chest, giving that spine a little flexion as well. Let's reverse it. Cat pose. Here we go. Tuck the chin, round down. And then up we go into that cow pose. So remember, there are various warm-up videos on the YouTube channel, and I would encourage you to go ahead and do one of those warm-ups before these classes. Because so I'm giving us a few warm-ups uh, poses, but really we're not focusing on a full warm-up. We're moving right on into our poses. So it's always a good idea to get that body nice and warm. So I would encourage you to go do one of those videos on, on our YouTube channel and then come into this class. Okay. We're going to move into our seated warrior poses first. So if you remember, let's come a little bit closer to the edge of our chair. <clears throat> it's going to make it easier as we move from our warrior one to our warrior two. Okay? So we're going to take that right knee and open it nice and wide. So we've done this one before, right? We get that inner thigh stretch. Now we're going to take that knee and we're going to let it fall down towards the floor. And here we are in the leg position of a warrior one. We're up on those back toes. This knee is going straight down towards the floor. Bring your hands to your heart. Try to look forward. So you're kind of looking over that right knee. Take a deep breath in, and on an exhale, we're going to add those hands up to the ceiling and bring our shoulders down out of our ears and then a natural breath. All right. We're going to windmill into our warrior two. So you take your left hand and you're windmilling it around as you move your legs into that warrior two position. So again, my knee is nice and open here. This knee is bent. It's not folding in. It's open. This leg is long and I'm up on that edge. We call it the knife edge of that foot. Okay. So here we are in a nice warrior two position. So thinking about your ribs now. So we tend to kind of want to have those ribs forward. We're going to pull those ribs back. We're going to look over our right fingertips. Flip that right palm to the ceiling. Place your left hand back by that leg, by your left leg, and lift up as you reverse your warrior. Feeling that stretch in the side waist. We're going to come back to our warrior two. We're looking over those right fingertips. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. Activate those arms. Let's do that one more time. Reverse it. Flip your right palm up, up to the ceiling. Extend it up as far as you can before you come into that reverse. And the reverse simply means you're kind of past that midline, right? So if you're right at that midline, if you come past it with that hand that's in the air, now you're reversing that warrior. Let's come back to that warrior two and release it and face forward. 
Give those legs just a little break. So in that warrior, that reverse warrior, just watch me <clears throat> real quick for just a second. So here, this is kind of, my hand is straight up to the ceiling. Do you see that? Now, if I bring it past that midpoint, there is my reverse warrior. So it doesn't really matter how far that reverse goes. If you want to really stretch into that sideways, you can bring it further. But if that doesn't really feel good for you and you're at that, just at that, uh, you know, straight up to the ceiling, just a smidge more and you're still going to feel a good stretch. Okay, we're going to do the other side. Left knee is going to open nice and wide. Right knee is going to fall down towards the floor. I'm up on those toes. This knee is bent. Letting that stretch happen. Bring your hands to your heart. Go ahead and look over that left knee now. So you're looking over that left knee forward. Take a deep breath in. And on that exhale, hands to the ceiling. And if you want to incorporate that diaphragmatic breath, do it. If it doesn't feel good for you, just breathe normally. And that's fine too. <clears throat> Okay, we're going to try moving into that warrior two. So I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to windmill it around. At the same time, my right leg extends back behind me into my warrior two pose. All right. So again, thinking about pulling your belly button to your spine, keeping those ribs in alignment, squeezing the muscles against the bones in those arms. Let's go ahead and look over those left fingertips. Flip that palm up towards the ceiling. You're going to come up, 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 up. Right hand comes back onto that right leg for support. Extend it up. Come past that midpoint into your reverse warrior. Let's come back to that warrior two. Can you look over those left fingertips? Looking over them, squeezing the muscles against the bones in those arms, activating the upper body. Flip that left palm to the ceiling. Up we go. Right hand is back by right leg. Up we go. Up, 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 up. Feel the stretch as we reverse that warrior. We come back to that warrior two. Give me a squeeze one more time. And release. Okay, how's everybody feeling? So remember, if you want to keep doing what we're doing, just stay seated and you'll be working into your warriors with us while we are standing up. But if you're with me, we're going to come to a standing position. So what we're going to do is the leg that's next to the back of the chair. Okay, so that's the leg you're going to want to have. And we're going to place our foot just under the chair, okay? So what I want you to be able to do is bend your knee and your knee is touching the chair. You see that? All right. So that, so it's not too far under or you won't be able to bend your knee at all. So we want it to be, you want to be able to, to bend that knee. Okay. So the next thing I want you to do, hold your chair. I want you to take your right foot or this other foot and take a little step back. Okay. It's not a huge step. So we're not trying to do the splits, right? That's too much. It's just a kind of that natural step back. Now, this back foot, it's not at a 90 degree angle. Do you see how I've got that foot turned to a 90 degree angle? So what happens if you've got the foot turned that way is my hips are facing this way. I want my hips to face this way, and it's almost impossible with that foot like that for me to be able to turn those hips. So what I want you to do is take your toes, bring them up to an angle. So you're at a 45 degree angle with those toes. Now my hips will turn. Okay? Now let's say your hips are still kind of here. What I want you to do is take this front leg and just heel toe it out a little bit. Give those hips some grace, right? It's okay. So we're giving those hips a little bit of grace so that they can turn because I want those hips facing your chair. All right, bend that front knee. Oh, yeah. Here are the legs of a warrior one. So the next thing I want you to think about is we all have kind of this natural sway in our back. But in our yoga poses, what we want to try to do is neutralize that as much as we can. And we do that by pulling that belly button to the spine. Do you see the difference there? Here's so I'm just kind of letting my belly go. Now I'm pulling my belly button to my spine. I'm taking that 
those hips and I'm lengthening them down. So that is the position that we want to keep the center of the body. So we want to activate that core, pulling that belly in, bending that front knee. All right, everybody feeling it? I know, right? Bring your hands to your heart. Here we are in a standing warrior one. And we're going to bring our hands up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down if that feels good to you. All right. One more breath here. And we're going to take a little break. Whew. Let's do the other side. Okay. So we're going to take the leg next to the back of the chair. That's the foot that's going to go under the seat of the chair. I'm going to take this foot back. My foot is at that 45 degree angle. My hips are facing forward. I'm going to bend that front knee. Let's go ahead and work on that, the core now. Pull your belly button to your spine. Extend that spine super long. So really trying to neutralize that spine. So we want that to be in that neutral position. My front knee is bent. I'm touching my chair. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a deep breath in here. And on an exhale, hands come up to the ceiling. And here we are in our Warrior One pose. One more breath and come out of it. Okay, other side. So here we go. My foot's under my chair. I'm going to come into that Warrior One position. Ha, right? Remember, hips are forward, belly is tied, hands to the ceiling. Now, with your left hand, I want you to place it on the top of your chair. Your right hand, you're going to windmill it around into your Warrior Two pose. Hold that chair. And I'll tell you what let's do. Let's just take our hands out of it for just a second. Because I want you to look at your feet. So what happens, technically, the heel of this foot should be right in line with, with the arch of your back foot. If it's not in alignment, don't worry about it. But kind of be close, right? So you want it to be as close as you can get it. But if that really makes it just this leg can't, you just can't handle it, the, the stretch in that leg, that's okay. You can bring it up a little bit. But ultimately that's kind of the, the um, you know, mine aren't either, right? Mine are not exact either. But that's, that's kind of our goal. But it's not a big deal if it's not there. The next thing I want you to think about are your ribs. So we tend to want to have our ribs forward over this front leg. But I want you to pull your ribs back. So we want that head, neck, spine to be in alignment. Pull your belly in. All right, now we're going to add those arms. So if you want to hold on to that chair, that is just fine. Otherwise, here we are. Try to make your arms as parallel to the floor as you can. Look over those left fingertips. Flip that left palm to the ceiling. Reverse your warrior up and back. Your back hand is on that leg for support. That's just fine. Don't worry about it. Let's come back to that warrior two. Squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. Really activate the upper body. Try not to have this glute clench. Try to be relaxed through the hips and the glutes. Let's revolve, we'll reverse that warrior one more time. Flip that palm up. Coming up. I know. I feel it too. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out, back to that warrior two, and step out of it. Oh, you feel it? Pretty good stretching going on in those legs, but it's a strong warrior pose. So what happens is, I know I've said this before, but it's so true. Let's go ahead and start moving into our warrior one. It's just so true that there are strength building poses, right? So our strong warrior poses, we're building, not only are we stretching through those muscles, but we're building that strength. So let's get into our warrior one. So pay attention. Where are your hips? They need to be facing forward. That back foot needs to be at that 45 degree angle, not 90, 45 degrees. We're facing forward. Our hips are towards our chair. Bring your hands to your heart. Pull your belly in, lengthen that tailbone. I know there's lots of things to think about. It's okay. Inhale here, exhale, hands to the ceiling. Whew, shoulders are down. Just breathe. 
Okay, now we're going to move into our warrior two. So what we're going to do is let's place that right hand on the chair just to give us a little more stability. Left hand is going to windmill around and we're going to come into that warrior two pose. Now I needed to move my leg just a little bit and that's okay because for my warrior one I've given myself a little grace for those hips. I'd move that leg out just a little bit so that now when I come into my warrior two, this leg just needs to move back a little bit. It's fine, right? It's good. Don't worry about it. Okay, so hold on to that chair if you want. Think about the bottom part of the body. This knee is bent, right? So we're still touching our chair. That knee is bent. Peek at your heel to your arch of the foot. You know, close is fine. As close as you can get it is fine. Think about the ribs. Pull those ribs back. You want the spine to be in alignment with the neck and the head. Okay? Now let's add those arms. We're going to squeeze the muscles against the bones in those arms. We're going to look over our right fingertips. And here we are in a gorgeous warrior two pose. Okay, flip that right palm to the ceiling and we're going to reverse that warrior up and back. Up, 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 reverse it back. Go past that midpoint if it works for you. And come back to that warrior two. Remember, try to have your legs relaxed. Try not to have your glute clenched. One more breath. Flip it up. Up and back. One more breath. And back to that warrior two. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release. Let's come to a seated position. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of water. If you have a water bottle handy and want to grab a sip of water, do so. It's always a good, good idea to stay hydrated because we're really working. You wouldn't think standing there, <laughs> right? Standing there, putting your arms in the air with your legs like that would make, make you work, but it really does. We really, really work hard. So good, good way to go, everybody. Okay, we're going to do a couple of little stretching poses and then we are done. It's, the time goes so fast. So we're going to take our right knee and we're going to open it nice and wide. I want to do our Lord of the Fishes pose. So we're going to take that left hand, we're going to bring it across our body, grab the chair, crown of the head lifts, turn and look over the back of your chair. Release it and we're going to do that again. Remember, this knee stays open. Don't let that knee fall in, okay? Come across, grab, lift and Look over the back of your chair. All right, release it. And now we're going to face forward and we're going to take this left leg, extend it long, toes to the ceiling. We're going to lift our spine nice and long, let that heart fall forward. Feeling a nice stretch into the hamstring in our pyramid pose. Go ahead and lift your heart up and we're going to do that again. Extend and hinge, I call it. All right, let's move into our seated pigeon. We're going to cross either that ankle to ankle. Remember, that's an option. You can also cross ankle to knee. That's an option. Extend the spine long. Let that heart fall forward, keeping the back flat, feeling a nice stretch. This should feel really good into the hips and glutes because we work that part of the body quite a bit in those standing warrior poses. Lift your heart up. Let's do a little rocking of our baby. And last class we did this. Let's do it again. Place your elbow right on the, uh, the upper part of that knee. So not on the knee itself, right? So kind of in front of the knee. Place your chin on those fingers and you're just going to gently press. So it just gives you a little more All right, come up. Go ahead and rock your baby. One final version. Yogi's Choice. You can do this one. If you like this one, do it. It's all good. All right, let's do the other side. So we're going to open this knee first. We're going to take that right hand. We're going to bring it across the body. Grab the chair. Lift and twist. So it's just a nice 
way to finish off all that work that we did in the center of the body, just a little extra stretch, release it, and let's do that again. Come across the body, crown of the head to the ceiling, turn, look over the back of your chair, breathe, and release it. All right, face forward. Now the right leg is going to extend out in front of us, toes to the ceiling, lift and hinge. Nice pyramid pose. All right, let's do that one more time. Keeping that back flat, letting that heart fall. Very good. Seated pigeon. Cross ankle to ankle. Cross ankle to knee. Extend the spine long. Let the heart fall forward. Breathe into the stretch. Don't hold your breath. Just a natural breath. All right, let's rock our baby. Add that elbow to knee if you wish. Your choice. All right, rock that baby. And final one. Your choice. I'm going to stick with this one. I just tend to feel this one the most. So I tend to do this one. But if you like that elbow to kind of press that knee down, it's good too. They're all good. All right, very good. Let's sit back in our chair. We're going to place our hands lightly on our thighs, palms facing up. Close your eyes. And just breathe. Take a deep breath in and a full, complete, cleansing breath out. Accept it. You can find great peace and acceptance. When you're not consumed with proving one thing or opposing another, you're free to create real value. A few issues are clearly worth fighting for, and some others are necessary to fight against. Most, however, you can simply accept and quickly enable yourself to move forward. There will always be plenty of things you don't agree with, but that doesn't mean you have to drain all your energy by being disagreeable or miserable. Take a deep breath and accept it. You don't have to agree with it or like it or even think about it anymore. Accept it and then you can devote your full attention to what you really care about. Accept it and save yourself the pain of resentment, of retribution, of hostility. Don't fight those useless battles that will never produce a winner. Accept what has happened, what has been said, what is, and free yourself to make the very best of it. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Extend your left arm towards the floor, palm down. Flip your palm up towards the ceiling and release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. And release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Extend that right hand down towards the floor, palm facing down. Flip your palm up towards the ceiling. Feel that stretch. And release it. Bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste.
thanks everybody for joining. Really appreciate it. This will be available on YouTube later. Go on to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga. Find our channel. Give us a subscribe. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.